Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Silver Fox here. Welcome to the Silver Fox Den. We haven't been here in a while, but it's a Friday. And I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing well. Super, super pumped. I have some encouragement if you're an entrepreneur or if you're doing your own um, at-home business or whatever it is. If your sales aren't working for you, let me tell you the story and I'll give you some encouragement. And this isn't to brag or anything, but I'm gonna tell you some of the numbers and then also I'll tell you what I haven't been selling so you can compare. So basically today I've had six in-person sales um, while working my other job. Six person in sales and I've been able to sneak them in while I've been working at home here. And and here's the, here's the part that I'll tell you that this these sales didn't come easy. What I've been selling, I haven't been selling hardly anything since the middle of July. Kind of as soon as July 4th um, went away, it seemed like some of the, some of the revenue from my sales um, kind of dissipated. And it was also, we live here in Utah. And so it's been July, you know, mid-July, late July. It's pretty dang hot, like hundred or so. And I think that's really what's been the key to not making that many sales. And so we've had a cold spell that came over last week and it's kind of, it's cooler. It's cooler this week, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like, Hey, eight degrees and everybody's out and staying out all day, you know, noon to eight o'clock, you know? Um, but I will say cooler today, it's a Friday and I was able to make six sales in one day, my gross profit was about 240 and my initial investment into the goods were about $55. So, try to think here. 55 goes in 200, so that's roughly 400% profit if I'm doing the math right. I was not good at math in college or high school if you ask anybody that i know they will tell you hey matt really struggled in math but look at me here making money doing my own thing working while working and there you go but i will tell you i was struggling i was thinking about not listing anything on the platforms that i sell my my goods and items at i was honestly pretty bogged down school's coming i have some backpacks and some like kids lunch boxes and stuff like that as far as the time of the year goes you know we're going into fall so back to school clothing backpacks laptops some electronics I'm trying to think what else halloween fall decor maybe um but this is also the time when people stay in more and so that's kind of what I've been concentrated on. Uh, clothing, I think clothing is a good one. So I think I'm gonna keep a lot of my clothing till um, maybe a little bit later in the fall, kind of like when garage sales stop and things like that. But guys, I was struggling. I really didn't want to list anything. I knew school was coming. My the place I keep all my stuff at is a mess. I basically go in there, grab the item and leave. And I've been way too busy with like work, life, family, and this job to, again, you know, sort everything, organize everything. And I think in the fall time, when I have more time, I will. But um, yeah, I was just bogging down and I didn't have I didn't have much gusto. I really thought about not listing anything and just letting school pass by. Um, and I guess I also will tell you my eBay sales. Maybe I should do a video on that, but uh, eBay sales most recently that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, North Face backpack, I think I sold that for around 70 bucks. And then I also got a Super Mario. Um, like kids backpacking um, insulated lunchbox. And I think I broke, eh, I think I made a couple dollars, but the way I bought it was, I just bought it sight unseen and didn't look up the comps. 
And so I was just testing the waters, but definitely North Face, if you see that out there, go pick it up, that's good money. But guys, hang in there, you know, summer slowdown, I think is real. Um, I haven't been doing that many sales as far as, um, as far as like clothing, a lot of out, I've sold a lot of outdoor gear um, in person. Um, and then coins and currency is kind of a whole thing uh, out on your own. If you're into the hobby, it's great. You know what you're doing. If you don't know, it's going to take a long time to sell that stuff. So I try not to touch too much on it here. But um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't give up. And I think it's a part of being an entrepreneur. But I think you really need to have um, at least a part-time job to do this if not a full-time job, and this is just like the cream on the top, because um, to make $200 profit in one day, granted I've been sitting on these items for a while, $200, so that's maybe like two, depending on how much money you make, um, two days profit, day profit, and obviously if you make $50 an hour, you know, that's that's a half a day's work. But just want to share with everybody, it can be done. Stay to it. Keep your nose on the grinding stone. And it's going to happen. And eventually, it happens every time I'm slow on eBay. I don't get any sales for like a week. And I think it's going to happen on Friday or Monday. And it doesn't happen. And then the next week, I'm super, super busy. So use that time to list. Quarter four is coming up. And that brings me to just a little sub topic here. This is way longer than I wanted to talk. Um, God, I'm blanking now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Blanking, 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 no pressure. Anyways, um, yeah, just keep listing. Quarter four is coming up. Oh, the, what I was gonna say was, it seems like usually I've looked at my sale um, spreadsheets. It doesn't necessarily seem like, um, you know, the beginning of the month, middle of the month, the end of the month is really the strong point. But it definitely seems like it's weather dependent as far as like, oh, it's the start of spring, lawn mowers, uh, grass seed spreaders, that kind of thing. Bike racks are big here in the spring because it's not so hot yet. But I did notice when I got super hot in July, my bike racks really didn't sell that much. So weather dependent, but now we're coming into school, we're coming into cool weather and people are gonna be outside more. So tell you what it's worth. Um, I think good things are in store ahead of us and we'll just have to see, but uh, keep grinding out there just cause you didn't sell anything for the first week or second week, you know, keep listing and then boom you'll have a string of six sales in one day just like i did so it can happen just hang in there we'll we'll talk to you guys later uh if you like this content like share subscribe and let me know if you got any topics that i can talk about and we'll see you on the next one take care